So this is Odinaki. Um, I put myself here-ish in the middle of the screen because I played the demo and there's stuff on either side. So I think this should be a good spot for me. But let me know. New game. We're going to go with the normal difficulty. Difficulty that offers challenging gameplay and tactical fighting. Also, the soundtrack to this game seems to be pretty darn good, honestly, so far, from what I've heard. So, let me know if I need to turn up uh, the sound a little bit more so y'all can hear it. Obstacles by Sid Matters. I don't know any of these songs. Also, all of the voice acting is in Japanese. Should I just talk over the voice acting? A soft rain fell the day my parents died. An illness claimed them in the end. The adults told me I mustn't grieve. They spoke only of their memories of my parents and their expectations of the afterlife. Just talk over it, Levi. I... I might turn the voice acting down a little bit then, to be honest. May... Mayura? Mayura? Don't be sad, Kagechi. Kagechi, nothing. Yes, this, this game is very sad. Forewarned to everybody. I'll go talk to my daddy, Myra. He's a watcher. He can talk to dead people. Maybe he can talk to your mommy and daddy, too. Aww. No, don't. I'm okay. Paralyzed by NF. Ooh, NF is good. Can y'all just DM me these songs on Discord? Because I still want to listen to them. Yeah, could, could you, would y'all just like... Minus D. Mm, chat. Uh, that might be a bad idea. So, okay. Let's talk it out. Actually, no. Let's watch this. Weird perspective walking. You can't hear anything? Oh no, Simmy. Is that something on my side or is that something on her side? Her side? Uh, this is a ghost girl? No, no, this is a real girl. Kagechi, who's there? It's you. Huh? Who? But... Why aren't you whole? Says the mysterious girl. Whole... what? What are you talking about? Myra, are you okay? As she walks up. Hagachi, that girl knows me. Myra... What girl? She was just, uh... Huh! That was definitely a spirit, okay. Help him, Daddy. Because this is her father. Hum, Kagechi. For the further just joining us, question of the day in chat, what would be your theme song? I think I want to go with My Shot from Hamilton. I kind of want to go with my shot from Hamilton. Now, this is goodbye for your mom and dad, says Kushi. But you mustn't grieve for them. Why not? Why can't I be sad? Grief fills the dead with regret, my boy. When the dead carry regret, they lose their way, and those who are lost cannot be reborn. They can't? No, son. They can't. 
Those who are lost lose their souls. They cannot be reborn as people. Reincarnation. No worries, Asami. Thank you so much for sending me the DM. I hope you have a great rest of your night. I hope things turn better for you. Um, if you ever need to vent or talk, let us know. And of course, Asami, remember that you matter. And just because I say it often, I just want to reemphasize those aren't hollow words to all of y'all. Like, legitimately, y'all do matter. So, remember that. I'll catch you next time, Asami. Do you understand? Oh, no, I, I skipped text. Uh, I think he was talking about how reincarnation is the way of the land. Do you understand? But, uh, Trekkie, how you doing today, man? Uh, yeah, I think so, says Kagachi. Kagachi. Good. Then there is still a path for you. Hmm. And fade to black. 20 years later, I wouldn't understand the meaning of those words for many years. Not until I joined the Veil Watch, just like Myra's father. The Watchers maintain order between the living and the beyond. We travel between worlds, rescuing the lost who have wandered from their path. Okay. So we're going to be able to slip in between the spirit world and the material plane, it seems. Yeah, so since this is a new game, y'all, definitely let me know how this audio balance and everything is. Mira, we'll use our daemons to do battle here. Ready? Ready. You take the ones over there. Well, oh, is that chick? Is it? Is it that chick from earlier? Ooh, he has two different colored eyes, and his eye flashed. This is giving me a Naruto vibe, like Sasuke with his eye. Uh, okay, use incense up. She flash draws down. Move. Basic attack is Y. Skill one is A. B is Damon action. Okay. Is Shira? A Shira? A passionate and caring daemon. A Shira has been at Kagachi's side since he first became a watcher. She still holds distant memories of fleeting happiness and intense longing for love. A Shira can dash to move quickly across the battlefield, and the sword she wields strikes fast and hard, making her a well balanced warrior. Nice, Simi, we'll walk him in then. Levi with the 50 bits! Subway 50 with a bonus! With the 55 totals! Levi, thank you so much for those bits. That is greatly appreciated, my friend. Can we get some hearts in chat for Levi? Levi, thank you so much, man. I greatly appreciate that. That is super cool of you. Myra, I see you're taking care of things here. Thank you. Well done. No. Why are you so nice to them? They're just another weapon. Watch what you say. Daemons used to be people. People with feelings. Interesting. The daemons we're using are lost souls. Yeah, used to be. Fine, have it your way. Let's just finish the mission. It looks like the lost soul we seek is a little boy. Did Leo fill you in on his story? I hope he's ready to hear what we have to say. Kagachi, I'll handle it. If I said it once, I said it a million times. You really need to change your attitude. The feeling of the the feelings of the living make the dead lose their way. Or have you forgotten? Kagachi, the lost are already lost. You were just impossible. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Brought to you by Subway. Subway did actually sponsor all of this, which is super cool. 
Uh, we get a mini map. You can change the thing. Awesome. We're doing L3. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so this is straight up just like an action RPG. There's levels. Um, everything's real time. So the daemons we get, I believe, give us different abilities and different swords or different weapons. I did uh, spend some time with the demo before I bought the game, like getting used to the combat and stuff to see if I liked it, and I did. So just why is my basic combo button, right? Each daemon we get has a special ability. So that's for her is my A button. It's like this dash, and then she also comes out afterwards. Also, the other thing of influences is on B, I have this dash, right? Really cool. I have that because of her, though. So, if we were to switch off to a different daemon, that dash ability would change to something else. So, the daemon you have equipped completely alters your playstyle. Which I think could be really, really interesting. Oh, we got a big one. Right, Levi? Like, also, you can switch between daemons quickly, from what I've seen. I'll show you all once we get the next one. It's uh, pretty soon. I only played, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes of the demo. And I, I got, you get a new daemon pretty quick. And then you fight a boss, and that boss wrecked me like three or four times before I beat it. So let's see how we do this time. Hmm. One, two, three, four. No, three. One, two, three. Thin dash. There it is. Boom. And we got a stone sword. See that in the top right hand corner? Soul stone, soul stone acquired. Soul stones form as the sign of a deepening possession of your daemon. The more you use the daemon, the more soul stones you'll acquire. Press the plus button on the main menu to open menu. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this is how you level them up. Now this is part's cool. The living world and the beyond. The living world is the land of flesh and blood, a natural world brimming with life, where creatures high and low rejoice in being alive. So. It's like the real world, the material plane, right? The beyond is the land of the dead, a world that exists in parallel to the living world, occupying the same space separated by a thin veil. Press LZ to move between them. The first time you travel to the beyond in a new location, you'll be veil blind, preventing you from sensing your surroundings. You are vulnerable as long as you are veil blind, so any attacks you suffer are fatal. Now, what that means is you have to explore an area in the real world first. And once you do that, you can then go into the beyond safely. If you ever go into the beyond in a place you haven't seen yet, you can't really make out your surroundings. And if any enemies even touch you, you automatically die. I found that out during the demo. <laughs> I'll probably show you that just for fun. A nexus appears when you defeat a sight stealer, a rare type of fallen. I'm guessing a fallen's a monster that appears wreathed in a noxious miasma. If you cross the veil near a nexus, your veil blindness will be lifted in this region of the beyond. So the area of the map we're in. This also bestows special effects known as precepts on you and the fallen within. So basically, when you get to one of these, you can then go into the beyond and explore that. And it also gives you a buff on that first time in. Cool final verdict. Oh, like you're saying the game's cool because <laughs> earlier you're like, I don't know about this. So this is us going into the beyond. Now notice the entire like art style shift. Boom. So super creepy. The monsters look a little bit different. And there's the kid, the little boy that we're pushed to go talk to. Now this is what makes me a watcher. And the preset we got, the buff we got is that we always hit critically.
Oi. So you're the little boy. <laughs> Young lost soul. Who are you? <laughs> We're watchers. We've come to send you off. <laughs> send me off? Am I dead? <laughs> I'm afraid so. We're here to help you pass into the next world. Do you have anything you want to tell us? Anything you're sad or upset about that might be keeping you here? I'm worried about my mom and dad. Oh. I don't want them to get lonely without me. No point in worrying over it. You can't do anything about that while you're dead. Ouch, Kagachi. Kagachi? Kagachi? If it upsets you that much, work on getting reincarnated and fix it in the living world. I guess you're right. I'm the one who died. It's my fault. Oh, he's being so mean. That's not what we're saying, says Myra. I'm going to call Myra May because I have trouble saying her name. So she's going to be now known as May for the rest of the playthrough. This isn't about blame. Think before you speak, Kagachi. Okay, but before I go, I want to see my mom and dad one more time. Is that okay? Just once, please. Please? What should we do? Kagachi. Sure, let's see him. All right, says May. Okay, listen. We'll take you to see them. You really mean it? But in return, this has to be goodbye. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I promise. Where should we go? To your house? Yeah, they're probably at my home. My house is this way. Then let's go. Okay. Yeah, Kagechi seems very... Very rough. Okay, so this is Kagachi. This is our main menu. Uh, top right, we see a whole bunch of stats about him. We're level one. Uh, this is our daemon we're currently using. We can go to the skill tree here. Well, I don't think we have anything we can use. So this is a straight up like RPG, right? So this is like her skill tree where we can make our daemon stronger. Um, the skill tree is a visual depiction of a daemon's soul. You can use soul stones on this skill tree to acquire new skills and abilities for each daemon. After acquiring a skill, you can assign it for use in the battle. Okay. So currently we have Gale Slash, right? We learned that one. There's Moonless Sky. Oh, okay. So her soul stone, if you see that at the top, right above the picture of the girl, it says, soul, it says Sword Stone 1. So for her, her soul stone is a sword stone. Okay. Sakura. Increase the power of skills used immediately after basic attacks. And then... Okay, and because it's a tree, you have to go down the branches to get to the more advanced skills. Cool. Now, this is interesting. Ishira's memory one. Ishira's memories is sealed within. And Okay, so, and she already has that unlocked because it, it's blue there. Yeah. No, it says unlock. Looks like I can unlock it for zero, though. So let's unlock it. Damon Lore. Shira's memories unlocked. Select Damon Lore to watch. Oh, Damon Lore. Recovering a Damon's memories allows them to share more of their past with you, strengthening your bond. Examine the waystones you find to select Damon Lore to view their memories. Wing Zero, welcome in. Wing Zero with the host. Wing, thank you so much for that host. That is greatly appreciated. How are you doing today, my friend? Uh, Bedazzle. We are currently playing Oninaki. Oninaki? Not really sure. But it's a new action RPG for the Switch. So... We are trying it out for the first time today. About to head to bed? All right, bro. Thank you for stopping in, and thank you for that host once again. I greatly appreciate that. Ha! For surely, but I totally get it. 
Okay, so... Vigilance. Increased affinity after manifestation ends. Always applies to Ashira is when Ashira is in the party. I don't know what manifestations are. I'm guessing affinity is maybe experience points. Bedazzle. Skill triggered while manifested. Gain a manifestation effect. I mean, I guess let's go with that because I, I just don't know what it is. So let's see what this means. X to shift? What does shift do? Okay, I'm not sure what shifting does, but okay. So skills. Do we get a new skill? Change the skills. You can, you can assign up to four skills at once. New skills can be acquired through the skill tree, right? Each skill has a cooldown that begins when you first use the skill. Skills cannot be used again. Okay, sure. No, still Gale Slash. I don't know what this thing did. Oh, look. We actually get weapons for our... Yeah, we actually get weapons for our daemons. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we don't actually affect Kageshi directly. We... If, Level him up by leveling up the daemons, it looks like. Interesting. Okay, config, sound. I'm going to turn the voices down a little bit. Yeah, let's turn those down a little bit. Because I'll be talking over them a lot. Since the entire game is voiced in Japanese. And question of the day for those just joining us. Okay. Okay, so crits come up bigger numbers. Ooh. Ooh, that Gale Slash, though. That hurts when I'm critting. I wonder if you can do, like, crit bit. Oh, healing incense. Use healing incense to recover HP. Uh, HP automatically recovers outside of battle. Um, use as many as you have. Level up to increase the number of healing instances you can carry. Okay. And up. Okay. Ooh, nice. The Gale Slash can totally one-shot the, the weaker enemies. Nice. I was able to dodge through that attack right there. Boom. I have reached level two. Okay, so we can level up. And our demons can level up through the use of soul stones. Okay. I'm okay with this. Basic attack. You see it in the top right. I don't... The item I got was a basic attack? Do we have items somewhere? Items. Basic attack. Shade stones. Increase basic attack. Okay, I don't know what shade stones are used for yet, but maybe they're a way to... Like, I don't know, power level or just increase the stats of one of your demons. Right? The okay, enemies can drop loot. They just dropped a uh, healing incense. Good to know. Also, in the top left hand corner of the screen, you see my health. Over there, I also see how many healing instances we currently have. Manifest and affinity. Affinity reflects the death of a possession with a daemon. So that's the number in the bottom left-hand corner. High infinity increases your attack, but if it goes over 150, it decreases your defense, so tread carefully. It rises during battle and falls when you use skills. When affinity is 100 or higher, you can press L to manifest. When you manifest, your stats increase even further. You can cancel all actions, and damage will not stagger you. While manifested, affinity becomes the manifestation gauge. When the gauge reaches zero, the manifestation ends. Okay, okay. 
So right now I just have a higher attack because of this. Okay, I'm at 101. It said using skills decreases it. Oh, it, it decreased it by like 0.1. So really not that much. So you should always really be gaining it unless you're spamming skills that are on a low cooldown or something. Okay, okay, that's cool. Hmm. I wonder if there's going to be a nice balancing act in this game between raising your infinity in the bottom left to get it high to use and then using that at the right moment. Huh, I don't know what that is. Some kind of statue with chains in the ground? I like the animation while we're in the spirit realm. Like when you're... Oh, we get another sword stone. So that means my... We can get another skill. Okay. With uh, Shira. Cool. Okay. Damon. Her. Skill tree. Okay, so now we know what this means. Skills triggered while manifested gain a manifestation effect. Oh, okay, okay. So, I don't know what the manifestation effect is, but that just makes those skills better while she's manifested. Interesting. Okay, okay. Um, vigilance. Increase affinity after manifestation ends. Okay, so we can get it up again quicker. Increase the power of skills used immediately after basic attacks. Compassion. Increase affinity gained while you use the healing incense. Okay, so a lot of her stuff is around getting the affinity up really quick. Okay, okay. Maybe we'll go with this vigilance buff next. One is you can perform a basic attack to cancel the delay after using an attack skill. It cost one, but I can't. Yeah, it won't let me get it for some reason. Oh, because we don't have a gazult yet. Increase affinity when you defeat an enemy. So that's because it's affinity even faster. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do y'all think, chat? I'm thinking maybe just vigilance. Oh, this is all really new to us. So I just say we just go with this for now. So this will get us back up quicker, hopefully. That, that that bar. Rank two, Damon rank up. Okay. Ashira's abilities enhanced while possessed. When possessed. Damon rank. Your Damon gained a rank. Each time your Damon rank increases, your bond with them deepens. And their capabilities while possessed increases. Your Damon will continue to gain ranks as you acquire new skills. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Straight up action RPG. I'm liking this so far. Okay, so probably in the next couple of battles, we'll manifest her. Right, so we can use the... Because if we go over 150, we start taking more damage, so... Awesome, we're currently maxed out on healing incense, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one. And look, we opened up a chest and got another one. Oh, that one gave us three! Nice. Okay, this is... Nah, let's wait. Okay, I don't want to waste the manifestation, right? Like, this is our, like, our big move. Caramel apples? Caramel apples are good. So, there is a chocolate shop which i think it's a chain called rocky mountain chocolate shop have you all heard of that place before Ooh. oh damon lore this is this is the thing cheers memories yeah let's watch this so this is a memory that our damon had 
who get to learn more about them. 